Good Saturday evening, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with a quick look at what's going on with the forecast as we head into the rest of Saturday evening and the rest of the holiday weekend, for that matter. And as of right now, again, decently quiet for the most part. We're looking at drier air moving in, just as we said, and more chances of some colder weather. But it looks like the snow and all the other mess that's out there for tonight is going to be wrapping up pretty well in the next couple of hours. Again, possibility of some slick conditions on the roadways tonight. So if you're heading out the door anywhere in the next couple of hours, all the way through overnight, you're definitely going to want to allow for some extra time and keeping a very good eye about what's going on down the roadway in front of you. We've got gusty winds. We've got possibility some slick streets overnight in parts of the Mid-South and some of that snow accumulating out there and sleet and rain and everything else could lead to some slick spots out there and that could cause some slowdowns and maybe some problems for you if you kind of take those curves a little bit too fast into the morning hours. We'll talk about that coming up here in just a little bit. Got any questions about the forecast? Drop them into the comments section. We'll answer as many of them as we possibly can. Again, we can't do the forecast individually for everybody, so we'll give you a generic Mid-South look at what's going on. If you can't stick around for the whole thing, that's cool. Forecast is in the blue bar at the bottom of your screen, or you can get the 7 to 10 day forecast at this website address at wreg.com slash weather. Glad to have everybody along for Saturday night. Hopefully you're viewing from indoors and not on a phone stuck out someplace or a tablet in the winter weather tonight because it's pretty raw and decently ugly across the area where it comes to temperatures. We'll take a look at those coming up here uh, in just a little bit. If you like the snow, say so. If you like more snow, drop that into the comments section. Cast your vote for yes, more snow, or no, I'm ready for summertime. Let us know what you feel like where it comes to anything the way of your favorite type of season out there. We'd love to see those comments out across the Mid-South, so stay tuned for more on that. Travel this evening, again, slow, not impassable, but definitely want to take your time if you're heading out the door from the Hilton East Memphis camera, Poplar East-West, and I-240 running back north and south of this area. You can see, again, pretty good reflection on the roadway surfaces. They're wet. So far, good news. We're not seeing anything from TDOT in the way of major amounts of problems out here. Let me see if I program the computer just right for this. Maybe. Don't think so. There we go. Okay. TDOT looking again at the SmartWay system and showing at this time only a few slowdowns from time to time, but we're not seeing too much of anything in the way of major travel problems, so good news on that. MLGW is showing a few outages for tonight, especially into and around the area of just north of the airport and right back around the Mallory Road I-55 area. So there are some outlets concern, outage concerns tonight, but otherwise not doing too bad. 766 customers affected, so hopefully those get picked up here and taken care of in the near future. Either way, it's going to be things like this, bridges and overpasses, anything that's exposed to the air instead of being insulated by the ground, that the ground temperatures are still pretty warm, so we probably should not see too much of a problem with the roadways Again, the exposed roadways, anything that's surrounded by the air, that's going to cool down faster. And temperatures are already around or below freezing at this point in time. So we are going to be seeing a pretty good cool off coming our way into and around the area. Michael Tabitha and Tabitha Neal, 34, with light snow in Savannah. Thank you very much. Patricia Lynn Dunlap Poe, snow in Bartlett. Thank you very much for that. Uh, Pope, Mississippi, Jeffrey Griffiths, 22 degrees, windy and cloudy. Thank you very much uh, for that rope weather report out there. If you got weather reports, let's hear those. Wherever you're from in the Mid-South area, give us a city, state, location, and uh, temperature report if you got them. We'd love to hear about what's going on there. Although Sherriel Crane, hope I'm saying that right, uh, chili and homemade hot chocolate, that is... Sounds like an excellent idea for a night like this. Thank you very much. Tricia Langston, 30 degrees, snowing in Stanton. Thank you very much for that one. Brenda Williams-Taylor, one vote for summertime. Bring on the days of summer. Well, we'll get back to the regular 11 and a half months of summertime that we all know and love out there. Not a fan myself, but you may be. So view from downtown Memphis. This is looking, well, it's kind of looking at the area around Big River Crossing. It's kind of hard to see lights from the News Channel 3 parking lot out this direction, but with snow and ice forming on the camera lens, 
not seeing a lot of clear views tonight. And again, going to be seeing more activity like this. The more exposed something is, like a bridge or an overpass, more activity like this could be causing some slick conditions out there. Remnants of snow showers. We're not getting a lot of activity out there. We are getting enough to cover over most of the metro area on News Channel 3 Storm Tracker 3S radar. And again, what we told you about earlier, drier air coming in from the west. That's doing a good job of evaporating the moisture and doing a good job of cutting it down to size, as it were. So right now we're looking at less and less in the way of precipitation. We're still going to get some more accumulation on top of what we've already gotten. Not going to get a lot. And again, this is definitely not a snowman building contest, as from what we can see. Uh, at this point in time, Edith Moss Busby, 22, uh, 32, in Independence, Mississippi. Thank you very much uh, for that one. Tamika Claypool, will the snow stick for tonight in various locations? Yes, but not everybody's going to pick up a whole bunch of it uh, from what it looks like right now. Ann Baggett from Finger, Tennessee, snow flurries being reported at this point in time. Frida Pfeiffer, Henderson, Tennessee, welcome to the show. Wind strong and cold. Been that way throughout the day. Sissy Neal Jernigan, fast blowing snow in Dyersburg. Thank you very much uh, for that one. And Wendy in Taylor, Mississippi. Laura Tolls, Wadlington. Thank you very much uh, for checking in from that location at this time. Now, again, getting rid of most of this, the winter storm that we've been watching is heading its way back up to the north and to the east. So we're kind of on the back edge of this system already. Looking back to the west, there's not a lot going on. And if everything works by tomorrow morning, we may actually see the sunrise coming on through. And that's good for a couple of reasons. We'll show you why that is in just a little bit. But not much of the snow showers are left at this time. Once again, this whole major system has done a very good job of kind of bypassing the Mid-South area and the major amounts of winter weather going well north and east of us. So we're still not getting too much of anything out there in the way of major amounts of winter problems or winter amounts of accumulation that are very high, anything like that. Now, we do still have, again, some advisories taking place. Winter weather advisories, in effect, for the county shaded in purple. This does not include the metro area, does not include North Mississippi, Southeast Arkansas, or the I-40 corridor. Back to the northern third of the News Channel 3 viewing area. This advisory is issued by the National Weather Service. You could have a snow advisory, a sleet advisory, a freezing rain advisory. You could have all that, but that's an awful lot. So this is kind of a blanket statement that includes all of that to let you know that anything is just about possible from this weather tonight. And again, for northwest Tennessee and northeast Arkansas, southeast Missouri, that's where we're seeing the main effects for us. And this is going to be the main target zone for travel problems into tomorrow morning. Now, if you're traveling overnight, again, extra time would be a good idea. And looking just north of the Mid-South area, we not only have the winter weather advisory in effect for our area, but back to the north of us, we also have, again, the winter storm warning in effect for that area that you see shaded in blue. Southeast Missouri, that was expanded to southeast Missouri over the last couple of hours. So the most intense snow and worst travel problems will be here, back up into the Ohio Valley, Indianapolis, Cincinnati, Columbus. Could be, again, some major amounts of slowdowns taking place here. So please use caution if you're going to be heading through anywhere in that particular area right now. Sleeting in Clarksdale, Charlotte D. Pryor. Thank you very much for that one. Excuse me for just one moment. My computer system appears to be a little bit wonky right now. And hopefully this comes back up again. If not, this may be a very short segment. Okay, there we go. Now, winter storm warnings extend from around Arkansas, Missouri, into and around the, just north of the Missouri, Arkansas area, all the way back to New England tonight. So again, some pretty Good chances of some nasty travel out there. Temperatures about maybe 18 hours ago were in the 60s across portions of the area. But when that cold air started hustling through, the temperatures started to plummet. And this is what we wound up with, with temperatures just at to just below freezing. Air temperatures here, but combine that with a very healthy northwesterly wind. And you've got wind chills tonight down into the teens. Want to get this information on your computer system from the Weatherbug Network? Go to this website, wreg.com slash weather for more information. But either way, going out late tonight, tomorrow morning, bundle up and remember to scrape the entire windshield clean. That whole periscope driving thing does nobody any good. So please make certain that that's all taken care of. Rest of the evening, again, temperatures heading through the 30s. 
Snow chances, again, continue to diminish, but there will be flurries out there, it looks like, through about midnight or so. The gray color is here. That's cloud cover. And as that dry air comes on through, the dry air erodes the clouds. And as we get toward daybreak tomorrow morning, maybe the possibility of seeing some sunrise out there. At least we hope so, anyway, for right now. So we will see, again, the possibility of some pretty cold weather out there uh, as well for the time right now. Windy Black Ice Storm 2018. Uh, well, from last year, maybe, but uh, hopefully no Ice Storm 2019 coming our way. Tommy James flurries in Cockrum, east of Hernando. Thank you very much for that. 2019. Okay, good correction on that. Sorry, I didn't see that until there. Highway 96, 196 in Piperton. Slick spots, surface temperature 28. Billy Kidd, thank you very much for that one. Marvin Dean, temperature looking like for the morning. Here you go. Temperatures tomorrow morning back in the lower to mid-20s north of Interstate 40, mid to upper 20s throughout the rest of the area, and that healthy northwesterly breeze will be doing a very good job of keeping the wind chills down into the rest of the evening as well. Light snow in Whiteville, Tennessee. Karen Linnell Pulliam, hope I'm seeing that right. Two-point typeface and bifocals are a very difficult combination right there. Beth Nash, 32 degrees and snowing in Jacks Creek, Tennessee. Thank you very much for that. And Avery Nellum, snowing in Ripley, windy, and 34 degrees. Thanks to everybody for those weather reports out there. Rest of the day tomorrow looking good with a lot more sunshine coming on through. And again, very cold, high temperatures tomorrow, just after lunchtime, early in the afternoon, barely above freezing as that cold air continues to spill into the area. Now through tomorrow night, if it stays clear, and right now it looks like it's going to, that is going to be excellent news because tomorrow night, is going to be a total lunar eclipse. It's going to start again right about the time we hit mid-evening, and hopefully it remains clear. There will be groups uh, out around the Mid-South using their telescopes. I know there's going to be one at Oxford, and I believe Memphis Astronomical Society will be out at Shelby Farms, if I'm not mistaken. I'll have to double-check that, but should be good viewing for the total lunar eclipse coming up tomorrow. More information about that, again, go to wreg.com slash weather. Scroll down beneath the forecast, and we've listed information on that for there. And, of course, you can get more information about what's going on on my social media pages as well. Snow accumulation tonight, again, it's been peeled back a little bit, but we still could see by the time all is said and done, possibility maybe two inches plus in northeast Arkansas, just outside the News Channel 3 viewing area into northwest Tennessee, north of Dyersburg, right between there and I-40. Could be around one to two inches. Again, not everybody is going to wind up with the same amount all the way on through. Your next door neighbor, down the street, across the roadway, back across the river, they may get maybe two and a half inches of snow, and you might get a dusting. Again, what we take a look at is just what is officially recorded at various locations, and of course, lump all that together from the reporters out there like you that give us information about what's going on with the snow. So again, if we say one to two inches, that's going to be an average for that particular area. That's a generic average out there. That's not exactly what's going to fall in your backyard. Again, you may pick up more, you may pick up less, that's the way winter weather works, and if you've never tried winter weather forecasting, I highly urge you to give it a try because it is a very, very exceptionally humbling experience. Give it a shot sometime and let me know how it works for you. Believe me, I think you'll find it quite interesting on there. Rest of the Mid-South, again, from the metro area southward, not much more than a trace to maybe around an inch in some locations if we get enough moisture out of that last burst coming on through. So looking a lot less than what it could have been. Some of the computer models saying three to four inches earlier Obviously, that's not going to be the case right now because of that dry air coming on through for, right, for the time being. Mid-30s for tomorrow, starting off with cloudy skies and maybe some snow flurries after midnight, but then going toward partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies. A very chilly day coming up. Very good news for the volunteers and for the workers for the day of service coming up on Monday. Looking very good for, again, the Martin Luther King Jr. holiday instead of a day off, making it a day on for community service. 
It will be chilly, but it will be dry. Plenty of sunshine coming up on Monday. So a pleasant day, a little bit brisk, but not bad for getting out and helping to make the world a better place and being kind to your neighbor. Temperatures as we go through about Tuesday rise into near normal conditions. But then as we go toward later on during the evening, the possibility again of some light showers. Possibility is some of that during the early part of the day. Most of it should be in the evening, but we should get hopefully some sunshine mixed between the showers out there. Now, after that, toward next weekend, we drop back downwards again with a couple of chances of rain mixed with snow going from Wednesday into Thursday and another possibility as we go from Friday into next Saturday. Both of these are not expected at this time to be the possibility of anything like a major blizzard winter weather scenario but stay tuned again things will change so we'll keep you updated on that next weekend looks chilly as that major burst of arctic air slams southward again this one will be even colder than what we're seeing right now possibly again these temperatures will change over the next several days at least we'll clear out by just a little bit but as we go into some parts of the area in the next several days could see temperatures in the mid-south in the teens and lower 20s for lows as we go toward next weekend and the last part of January. So something to think about there uh, for the time being. Jerry Walker Cullen, not voting for winter, bring on the heat. Thank you very much for that one. Uh, Phyllis Sanford, cold but no precipitation in Crenshaw, Mississippi. Thank you very much for that one. Uh, Stephen Sawyers, thank you very much for the kind words. Do appreciate that. Thanks for tuning in on that. And Michael Jonathan Towns, Bartlett got a dusting. Uh, will we see a good one this year? Well, we still have about a month and a half at least of winter weather to go through. So uh, we've got, again, a good portion of time to get to another winter storm. No guarantee of that, but we'll be watching again into the near future to see what heads our direction out there. Thanks to everybody for some great weather pictures and some great commentary from 9th BHS Library. A little bit more excited as they suggested doing the, I believe, the snow dance and something about wearing pajamas backwards or something of that nature. I forget all the uh, specific jinxes and things like that to try to get it to snow. I personally suggested doing the Calvin and Hobbes approach of sacrificing a toboggan to the mighty snow demons, and apparently she thought that that was a wonderful thing. So great suggestion taken there. So thank you very much for that one. Mississippi County Office of Emergency Management from their backyard around Mississippi County in Arkansas, picking up some snow, settling in on the barbecue and in the backyard area. A nice view of how to measure snow from the National Weather Service in Indianapolis a couple of weeks ago. An eighth of a Basset Hound deep. Very good idea right there. And of course, my goddaughter back in Topeka, Kansas, got into the act with her Corgi PJ, uh, being able to measure some of the snow, but it's only less than a corgi belly deep. So some alternate ways of measuring snow out there. And again, thanks everybody for sending in some great weather pictures out there. If you'd like to see more of them, check out my social media pages, and we'll keep you updated as we go into and around uh, most of the area. Doxy Nelson, bread and milk sold out. Haven't been to the store yet. My wife went this morning, but I could use some root beer if anybody's going to the store. I'm running kind of low on that one for now. Mary Martin Yarborough, it's been a lightly snowing in Marshall County for about two hours. Thank you very much uh, for that one at this point in time. Steve Montgomery, does my family in Munford, Tennessee need to go to Kroger? I don't know. Have you checked the uh, shopping list lately? You have to ask them. I have no idea what's written down on the refrigerator, but uh, thanks for asking nonetheless on that one. Heavy snow in Walmart in Olive Branch. Eddie Blackwood, thank you very much for that. And Grady Bennett chomping at the bit for tornado season to start back up again. Okay, well, a little bit ahead for right now, but we are coming up on severe weather season. Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3. Check out my forecast throughout the rest of the weekend on the radio. And, of course, I'll be on with Bob and Josh coming back up on AM 730 and 1600 on Tuesday morning after everybody gets back from the federal holiday. Questions, concerns, ideas, email me, austin.onic at wreg.com. Would be great, grateful to hear from you. And if you can't post your weather pictures any place on social media, you can email them to me and find me just about any place out there on social media as well. We'll have an update on the winter storm coming up on News Channel 3 at 10, about 90 minutes away. And we'll have, again, an update with what's going on with travel in the Mid-South. We'll keep an eye on that overnight. So make sure to tune into News Channel 3 Daybreak starting bright and early tomorrow morning 
by about 6 o'clock, so stick around again for more on that. Thanks to everybody for the weather reports out there, and thanks again to everybody for making sure you stay safe for tonight. Uh, keep an eye on the roadway. If you have to travel, a lot of extra time. Slow it down and keep it tuned to News Channel 3. Again, for the latest latest forecast updates available here at WREG.com slash weather. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thank you for joining us tonight, and stick around for more. Again, coming up tonight on News Channel 3 at 10. Thanks a lot, and stay safe out there as the new winter storm rolls on through.